and then Hey, welcome back to Views on Brews. I'm Brendan, and this is Wicklow Wolf's uh, Imperial Stout, uh, Imperial Four Bean Apex. Let's give it a go. Okay, so Wicklow Wolf uh, Brewing Company, they've really grounded themselves here in Ireland. Um, all the beers they make, um, nine times out of 10, they're really, really great beers. And uh, they've got a really strong branding. Uh, with the wolf on the front of it, um, on the front of all of their cans and bottles. Um, but this one is part of their Endangered Species series, series of one-off brews. Um, and it's got four different beans in it. Cocoa beans, coffee beans, tonka beans, and vanilla beans. So it should be packed full of flavor. Um, it's freezing cold, windy, and rainy outside. I felt like something warming and really cozy inside i'm looking out on the rain now and i just thought get an imperial stout out sip on it this one hasn't been in the fridge at all so if it, if this doesn't show me all the flavors that an imperial stout should do uh, it's got nothing to do with it being in the fridge because it hasn't been in the fridge so uh let's give it a go anyway let's crack this thing open and then we'll talk about the beer Okay, nice hits there going on. Um, let's see how it pours. I'm gonna pour a little bit in to begin with. I love these snifter glasses. This is no horror snifter glass, but um, it sort of convexes into the in inwards at the top of the rim, and that just allows you to un un unfold all the flavors, and they get caught in this big bulbous area here and then I get to waft them up the nose. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so we've got a real sort of real stouty black, jet black uh, beer with a beige tan head on it. Uh, not much of a head, but uh, it is a 9% beer, is it? It is a 9.5% uh, Imperial Stout. So it's a real, gonna be a really warming beer. But the beans in it are gonna give it a really strong flavor on top of what you'd normally get from the malt character of beer. Whew. Okay, so uh, tonka beans are really interesting. Uh, tonka beans, I think, I think I might be right in saying in some countries they're banned because they have uh, excessive amounts of the of the bean are poisonous, but I've seen tonka. I'm a pastry chef, and I've seen tonka beans used uh, in pastry kitchens for the last 15 or 20 years. So uh, they're they're a very aromatic bean, uh, as well as um, the vanilla bean and the coffee bean, and what is the other bean? The cocoa bean, the chocolate bean. So yeah, um, tonka beans are really interesting. And I do get them straight off on the aroma. There's, um, <clears throat> I find with tonka beans, there's a kind of a, a woody, complex sort of aromatic profile to them. So they're a bit woody, a bit, um, I, I liken them to uh, rolled bits of cinnamon bark. But they also have, they also have like a, 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 like a spicy element to them, uh, kind of, <clears throat> kind of a little bit clovey, a little bit cinnamon, a little bit dried bark is the way I would explain tonka beans to you. Um, there's a really nice um, element of vanilla going on on the nose. <sighs> vanilla, sweet, a bit, a bit, a little bit fruity. Not much in the way of coffee um, at, this, at this part, but um, let me see if I can get a bit more off before we dive into this. A tiny hint of chocolate, <clears throat> but not much more than you get off of a normal stout, to be honest, so the malt character would normally give you that. Yeah, a bit of a combination, but I think the Tonka beans take the lead on this one. So out of the four beans that are in here, coffee, I don't get too much of, cocoa I get a little bit of, 
tonka beans yes vanilla beans yes but that's that's uh, what I expect because those two be those two beans at, le at least the seeds in the vanilla bean and the tonka beans themselves uh, they're, they're definitely going to be really really uh, pungent in their aromas so no surprise to me there um, <clears throat> yeah really nice it looks like it's going to be one of those thick viscous uh, vinous type of uh, beers um, <clears throat> the head just keeps lacing down the sides of the glass really nice looking slancha let's get into this um, love Russian Imperial Stouts Wow, this is a strong, strong uh, aroma profile. Okay, um, okay. Well, one of the first things I get, I mean, I was expecting to already get the tonka beans because it's in the aroma. I've got something caught in my eye. I don't know what. Uh, I was expecting to get the aroma of tonka beans and vanilla. So, but uh, I noticed on that first sip that I also got a really nice kind of. Um, milk sweet milk chocolate not dark and um, almost fruity like a dark chocolate can sometimes be um, it's kind of a really mellow platform type of flavor mm. coffee coffee is now coming into this as well tonka beans uh, taking the lead taking the lead it's kind of like a race with these uh, beans in this uh, in this particular beer. So the cocoa beans um, <clears throat> didn't do much in the aroma, but in, in this this part of the race, they're doing a lot in the flavor, we'll say. Uh, the tonka beans are, are absolutely, they're the same bolt of this beer, if you like. Uh, they're out ahead, vanilla's close second. Um, and cocoa and coffee are kind of neck and neck, third and fourth place. Really nice. Um, not too thick. Um, I thought it'd be a bit thicker mouthfeel than this, but it's not. Mm. Let's see if I can get a bit of a better head on it than that. Oh, it pours out really thick, this beer. Mm. It's a really, really dark, sort of aromatic, pleasing combination of pastry dessert flavors going on on the nose if, if this was in some kind of dark chocolate mousse I, I, or dark chocolate ice cream milk chocolate parfait i wouldn't be surprised to find these types of flavors going on in in a dessert kitchen really interesting but i, I like tonka bean because it really gi it gives another element that it almost sidesteps uh, it almost sidesteps barrel age in beer because it gives you some of those woody elements that you get out of a barrel but it gives you them from the the bean itself so uh really nice i like it i like this beer it's a sipper it's what you call a sipper you wouldn't be it's nine percent anyway in fact this is the kind of beer that i wouldn't mind you know sharing out between myself and my wife or myself and a, and a beer buddy and just having ha half a can each it's not going to be a, uh, a can that you're going to smash the whole can in uh, 15 minutes or whatever this is a it's a thinking beer it's a sipper it's something to be enjoyed at the right time right place right beer that kind of a beer um, yeah i really like this beer i think the, the flavor part of it is strong. So it could be, you could say, wow, those flavors are quite powerful in this. Um, they don't, you know, they, they're, they're brash, they're right up front. They're not sitting back and waiting for you to find them. In some beers, you have to pick out the flavors. In this beer, you have to almost calm down the flavors. They're there, but they're just super. There's no alcohol warmth this, in this beer. Um, get a bit of a mouthwash going on um, oh yeah it's uh, the, the base beer itself is very uh, gentle sweetness a little bit caramel a little bit tiny bit burnt tiny bit of toast um, 
but it's all about the beans. It's showcasing the beans in the same way a juicy pale ale or a juicy IPA is showcasing the hops and the base beer just sits there and lets the hops do all the business. In this beer, the beans are doing all the business and they're fantastic. Now, I like this beer, uh, but I'm a huge fan anyway of Wicklow Wolf Brewing Company. Um, pretty much every beer they've made, except with the exception of maybe just two beers that I've tried and wasn't too sure about, they're all bangers. Every single, if you're looking for a real solid uh, brewery, then Wicklow Wolf is the way to go, or at least one of the breweries. There's so many decent breweries now in Ireland. Anyway, that's my view on this um, brew. Um, great aroma, nice appearance. Um, a little bit of a small head on it, but it's nine and a half percent, so that's expected. Um, the aromas are great. The flavor is great. It's just coat my mouth. It's just there the whole time. Uh, overall impression of this beer, go get it. It's lovely. Uh, Endangered Species number nine. It will only be out for as long as the cans aren't sold. And then maybe it's never ever brewed again, which would be a shame. Anyway, it's on to the next one. Cheers, enjoy, and slancha. Bye.